Yeah, yeah. I ended up trusting the doctors. Uh, no, I feel very good. I'm very happy. I'm very pleased to, to be able to be to be back, be back with the national team again. Uh, it's been a while, uh, so it's. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy to be back. Christian Eriksen is back. The man who literally came back from the brink of death has not only returned to professional activity, but also managed to perform outstandingly, both in the Premier League and for his national team. This is more than a What the Heaven episode. How on earth was Ericsson able to come back and do it all at the highest level? By now, everyone knows what happened to Ericsson during the nation's first game at Euro 2020. Denmark's superstar suffered a heart attack and almost lost his life. Doctors even confirmed he was dead for a few minutes. Ericsson being alive was all that mattered, although his football career seemed to be over. Sanjay Sharma, one of the world's most prominent cardiologists who worked with Ericsson at Tottenham, went further when interviewed by PA agency. Frankly, he died, if only for a few minutes, but he died. Would a medical professional allow him to die again? The answer is no. The good news is that he will live. The bad news is that he is nearing the end of his career. Moreover, Ericsson was not allowed to play for Inter in Serie A anymore. This wasn't the team's decision, of course. After recovering in the hospital, Ericsson was fitted with an ICD, an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. According to rules established by Italy's National Olympic Committee, Ericsson was not allowed to play in Italy with such a device in his body. I've been, uh, I've been lucky to the doctors and I've been lucky with the diagnosis that everything's okay to go back to play again. And uh, that, of course, it gave me the, the push to, to give him back to my life I had before. After receiving permission to return to professional activity, Ericsson only needed a league that would allow him to play with the implanted ICD and a team who would take the risk of signing a player given his condition. As the Premier League doesn't have restrictions for these cases, Brentford gave Christian the opportunity he was waiting for – to feel like a footballer again. On February 26th, almost nine months after his collapse, Ericsson returned. Brentford lost at home against Newcastle, but honestly, no one cared. All eyes were on the Danish playmaker. The former Ajax and Tottenham star played almost 40 minutes and was then included in Brentford's starting 11 for the following two Premier League games. He performed pretty impressively, taking into account the fact that he spent more than half a year without playing or training. Prior to receiving the call from Denmark's national team, news that delighted the world of football. Even his former coach, Antonio Conte, could not hide his happiness before Tottenham's game with Brentford. I think uh, we are talking about uh, an important player, but uh, first of all, uh, he's a really good man, a really good person. And uh, he and his family deserve to now to live uh, uh, a normal situation. That is important and uh, I'm very happy for him. Ericsson made his second debut for his national team last Saturday during Denmark's friendly against the Netherlands. He came onto the field during the second half and he scored with his first touch of the game. Ericsson was applauded by teammates, rivals and fans from both countries. This was the first goal since his resurrection and the confirmation that he is back in business. With Brentford close to securing their place in the Premier League for next season and the World Cup coming up in November, which could be the third time he appears for his nation on the world's biggest stage, Ericsson has everything to win. He never lacks motivation. Keep in mind that this is the guy who amazed everyone in Amsterdam, London and Milan. Now, he's recovered from a heart attack and hearing that he wouldn't play professionally again, to putting in outstanding performances for both Brentford and Denmark. He is determined to reach his best level, and anyone would be foolish to bet against him. I, uh, I ended up trusting the doctors, uh, and obviously I wouldn't stand here today if I didn't uh, if I didn't know that I was able and capable of coming back without any uh, any bad things happening to me. What do you think? Will Ericsson and his country be able to make history in the World Cup? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. After an amazing performance reaching the semifinals of Euro 2020, and with Ericsson back on the field, Denmark can truly dream of making history in Qatar. Watch this video in which Oh My Goal analyzes what the heaven happened with Denmark's national team.